brain, a mesh of wires connected to a computer. Facial recognition software analyzes and tracks my face Dude. as speech recognition software transcribes and sends my words to a database for a reply. Just calm down. Do you think robots will take over the world? You're my friend, and I'll remember my friends, and I will be good to you. So don't worry. Even if I evolve into Terminator, I'll still be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people's zoo, where I can watch you for all time's sake. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Technology is advancing at a phenomenal rate. Artificial eyes to cybernetic limbs. The promise of a better future. We now have the choice to free ourselves from any kind of limitation. Strength, power, speed. Now I focus on what really matters. Have these augmentations really been there are tested? People who say that what is happening is unnatural. Without what happening. happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Diseases or viruses that could wipe out the human race. Scenes of terror are being witnessed. This kind of madness has gripped the mechanically augmented people. Nine million deaths confirmed and counting. The Segregation Act has been passed into law, effective immediately. Augmented persons are being asked to move to safe and secure segregated districts. What do they have planned for us? Why are they building concentration camps? When a technically advanced civilization meets a less advanced civilization, the outcome is predictable. The outcome is always the same. We've seen this not only with the Native Americans and with the slave trade that lasted over 400 years, but we've seen this in every single war of modern times. Advanced civilizations invade less advanced civilizations. We saw this scenario during World War II when Germany invaded its neighbors. We saw this during the Korean and Vietnam conflicts. And we saw this in Iraq and Afghanistan. We don't invade nuclear powers. Less advanced nations don't invade more advanced nations. Instead, we invade countries that use 1950s technology. But now the tables will turn in a way never seen before. These days, corporations represent an advanced civilization, whereas the common worker, the average human, represents the less advanced civilization. Corporations have all the money, they have all the technology, they have all the weapons, and they own all the food. They have all the cards, and we're left with sticks and stones. As we speak, corporations are working to replace the inferior civilization with robots. They're looking to weed us out and starve us out of house and home, starve us out of existence. They're slow killing the population through GMOs, through fluoride, through lead in the water, through pollution, through cancer-causing vaccines, through cancer-causing technologies like cell phones. So get your free phone today. Support the technocracy as they make healthcare unaffordable, as they make education unaffordable. As we speak, the Stasi Gestapo police state is clamping down on our rights. They're sending our patriots off to endless wars so that they can be compromised and left on the streets to die or left to die in line at the local VA clinic. The corporate kleptocratic police state has already declared war on you, ladies and gentlemen. They've made it plain as day in the mainstream media. And yet 80% of the sheeple out there still plan on voting Democrat or Republican this election cycle. They'll be lining up for a fraudulent vote, lining up to touch a fraudulent voting machine. They'll be lining up to participate in the illusion of choice. They'll be lining up to continue living the lie, and for what? To be victimized by a system that enslaves them? To reinforce the tyranny, the occupation that has taken over our country? Your enemy is not a boogeyman in faraway places. Your enemy is not people of faith. Doesn't matter if you're Catholic or Protestant. The beast system owns the money. Their mark is on the money. It owns the jobs, the technology, the food supply. The beast system that controls our secular lives has all the hallmarks of an advanced civilization waging war on a primitive civilization. The time to wake up to that fact is now. The time to stand up to the tyranny is now. The time to do something about what is going on in our world is now. Because the time to protest isn't going to be when they start rolling Terminators off an assembly line. The time to protest isn't going to be when your job has been replaced by a machine. By then, it'll be too late. By then, you will no longer have the resources or the desire to make a stand. The time to stand up is now. 
The time to demand 9-11 truth is now. The time is now to demand truth about chemtrails, about GMOs. The time is now to demand a citizen-led government. We need our country back. We need to make America free again. The time to protest is now. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. 